Hi, yo. I'm back. Uh, I have to redo this video. It didn't come out the way I want, and I may have to delete some of the stuff that I've got on here. The clear. Anyway, it's me again, yo geezer, with another exciting uh, review of old geezer's comics review. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I haven't had that. You know how it is. Life gets in the way. And I really was hoping to expand this uh, this uh, program. But I've been real busy and I haven't had much time to really devote to doing this uh, series. So I'm back. And hopefully, um, if you're watching this, um, there's a favor I'd like you to do for me. And it's simply this. I want you to do that for me. If you are watching this or going to watch this, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And share. That's all you got to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, by the way, this sign was done. The awesome artwork for the sign was done by my granddaughter, Amaya Robinson. But that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, the more people who uh, subscribe, the more people who you share this video with, um, the more people hopefully who will watch it uh, will um, want to, I can do more as time goes by. But getting right to it, this is after Old, old Geezer's Comics Review, and I have a comic here that I want to review. As you can tell, it's in three parts. It's called Johnny Monster. Um... By Image Comics. Um, think of it as if Tarzan, instead of being raised by apes, were raised by Godzilla or Rodan or King Kong. That's basically the guest of this, um, the guest of this uh, series. Um, it starts out, of course, as you can see, with uh, giant monsters fighting in the city. Uh, have a beef or a grudge or whatever. And there's our hero in action, Johnny Mosher. I think that's actually how you pronounce his last name. It's Johnny Mosher. But to the world, he's known as Johnny Monster. And um, basically, um, he's there to stop these monsters from destroying the city and, and, uh, and uh, wiping out... Um, human life and he's somewhat of a celebrity a social media darling um as the story progresses um he manages to subdue the giant monsters and almost immediately he's besieged or set upon by the media by a newswoman who wants to interview him after he's disposed or or uh, gotten rid of the giant monsters, and uh, they are determined, this newswoman is determined to find out what he's really all about. But it goes a little bit uh, more into detail, as you can see. Um, he's discovered by this giant monster that, uh, for some weird reason, doesn't eat him but takes him into uh its care and of course the uh newswoman is determined to find out who is johnny monster how is it he's able to show up when the monsters attack the city and subdue them and and what is he really all about um to make a long story short they find a uh, footage during its latest adventure where it appears that he is actually talking to one of these monsters he's trying to subdue. And uh, the cat is starting to come out of the bag. In the meantime, on a remote island, there's a team of bounty hunters or mercenaries who hunt and kill giant monsters for a large fee. And they consider Johnny Monster their biggest competition. Whereas they 
kill giant monsters for profit, Johnny uh, tries to avoid that. He tries to avoid killing the kaiju, uh, and he doesn't do it for uh, money or, or fame. Um, in the meantime, um, in the meantime, Johnny is back with these other giant monsters. Uh, one of them he seems to be playing with or training with, and, uh, you know, as, um, as things go along, um, the newswoman is getting closer and closer to the truth about Johnny Monster, and, uh, after seeing the stock footage of, uh, his latest adventure where he appears to be talking to a giant monster in order to subdue it, um, She's determined to, uh, to basically uh, find find out the truth about Johnny Monster. So she uh, devises a plan and follows him into one of the tunnels where the giant monsters appeared from. And uh, this is Johnny Monster bringing in another kaiju. Um to what appears to be an underground grotto, grotto or some sort of, a, for lack of a better word, an underground paradise for the kaiju to live in peace. Uh, a sort of a monster island underground, if you will, underneath the very bowels of the city itself. And um, as the story progresses, um, he has what appears to be an ally or some allies who are actually helping him to corral these monsters without harming them or worrying about them going back to the city and attacking. Um, story also progresses with a shock. The uh, newswoman, as you can see, discovers Johnny. She's gone underground and found out the hidden... Um, Monster Island under the city and discovers Johnny is actually being cuddled or held by this monster who he calls Mother. Refers to as its as his mother. The monster is giving him what appears to be a, a, a motherly loving hug. And uh, I won't go into the rest of the story other than to say, the next time I do another review, it will be guest starring a certain popular uh, character um, from um, from uh, Image Comics. But I won't go into that. That's part of my review. I love the artwork here, by the way. The artwork is so cool. I didn't take a look at uh, the artist name. Who did this? In fact, I, I it's been so long since I read it, but uh, here we go. Um, wow, Joshua Williamson, Williamson, and uh, of course, um, the uh, the artwork and the uh, storyline are so awesome. I loved it. Uh, that was one of the things that I loved about doing. Uh, about reading this comic was that um, the artwork, of course, that's all comic books are, is uh, stories with pictures, but they're awesome pictures and awesome storyline. But um, if you are looking for an old school type of comic book uh, that is entertaining, and especially if you're into giant monsters like I am, then by all means, please pick up a copy or back issues of the story. I don't know if they have it in trade. I don't think so. But uh, if you go to a local comic book shop, you're sure to find um, this this series, you know. Um, and I would advise you to try and pick up all three issues if you can find them in the bargain bin or, or, or wherever you can find... Um, I know for a fact you'll find them in comic book shop. 
Again, forgive the poor quality of this video that I'm doing. It's not quite up to standards, not my standards at least. And uh, like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, as you can see, um, I've only had a few people review uh, my comp, my uh, program, and I'm hoping more people will review it. Just remember what I said to uh, hit that like, comment, subscribe, and share button, and let me know what you think of this. I've tried to do this on Instagram, and I wasn't really getting many results. Um, so I'm going back to YouTube, and hopefully this will work out on YouTube versus, you know, the, um, versus, um, versus not having no, nobody watch it at all. According to, um, according to the last I checked, uh, I tried to promote this on Facebook, and I've only had, I think, somewhere between three or nine people view this. Actually, I think it was less than that. I think it was about three people view this. I would like to have more people view this program and give me back, give me your feedback on it. So, um, like I said, hit that like, subscribe, and share button, comment. Let me know what you think. But until then, this is Yo Geezer uh, with uh, uh, ending this series of uh, comic reviews. The next time, hopefully I'll be back it will be with part two of Johnny Monster, guest starring that guy. Yeah, that guy. So, until then, take care of yourselves. Love ya.